We walking into another episode of Assassin's Creed number three, where we discover this location. What is a fact? Is it fixed? Immutable? Certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand more. Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Oh boy, so much mystery. And I'm interested to find out what happened, but it appeared to be difficult to find out, but I guess. Our first instinct was to travel back, to change the past. But we could not find a way. But forward. We could look forward. And so here we sought to see beyond ourselves. And know what was to come. First we watched to learn if our work would succeed. But the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things. But she remained. The one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats! Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the Apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the Apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Well, let's try find out what's on the other side of that door, no?
Hey, there she is. Where's the door? Oops. This way. This way. And this way. And this way. Okay. I'm having a feeling that I can't go where the door is. Or can I? Huh. Okay. Where is the door? Oh my god, I'm lost now. I don't even know where I am now. Okay, let's try and go this way. Alright, I'm, I'm lost. Can we go back? Okay, I'm going back. I'm going down. Because I don't know where we need. Do uh, which does he mean? So I'm gonna jump in to Animus. Good luck, Desmond. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays, and behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control, but how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies Connor. have they already spun? Spare a All moment. All these things I must determine. Of course. For Have only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop what is them. What is it? Xing Bao, or Rope Dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. All right, we have a visitor. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse. We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, Seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. <laughs> yeah, I could have. But I haven't, so we'll live with it, I guess. Is this let me fast travel? Oh, I think it does. I think it does, baby. Whee! We moving on. To Boston. Me moving on. Boston. All right. Try jumping down from here or from here or 
I think I'm going this way because that's where my yellow exclamation mark is. Traveling to frontier. Yes. Or maybe no, I don't know. Am I in the right place? Yes. And swing by. Okay. How do I make bullets to my pistols and or oh, arrows for my bow? New ship upgrade available. So much upgrades, but I don't have any money for it. I have six pounds, man. I don't think they get too much out of it. Travel to Boston. Yes. Oh, hello. That feels more and more like it. Can I get a horse? 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 Oh, we can't go faster, okay. Well, it's still faster than just running on our feet. We can horse around. <laughs> excuse me, people. I'm coming through. Oops, excuse me, people. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Dum da da dum da da dum da 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 dum da da dum da da dum da 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 da. Where is Sam? Am I around there? Why why is it so far? Why is it so far? Badam badam. Come on, horse. Sorry, Lily. Sorry, people, but uh, I need you to take over. Demonstrations won't suffice, Sam. We need to act, and I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen, but surely. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Sure. Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. 
When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing Come on, Samuel. These fucking missions are. Your condition is equal to that of the slaves. Oh boy. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who was compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than Surrey. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in turns. It's in turns, or not at all. We must compromise, Connor, however painful that may be. Try and... All right. Hey! It's my home, no matter what you thieves call taxmen say. If there comes in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now. Open this door or these men will break it down. Ah! The bollocks, we're coming in! Ah! Oh! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Do we help him? Oh, I guess we do. Hey, go, son. Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <coughs> all right. Are you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you an ale, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Ah, uh, you're welcome, pal. Why am I need to run 200 meters again? Why is this more about running than almost anything else? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I guess I can't go there because there's guards. Where is this? Uh... Oh, I can like help him, huh? But there's like 15 of them and I don't really feel like fighting right now. Especially not that many. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Ooh, okay. Are you gonna set up a stage Connor, for head spectacle back to the thing? docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Okay. Who are you? Oh, play a game. I'm not playing games. I got all already beat up. I tried to play once and lost.
Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. Okay. We got some tea, huh? All right. What are we doing now then? Um, how far is this? Eh. Eh. Three hundred horse. And we are sing around in the town of Boston. Um, I don't know what it's good for. I kind of don't feel like I need help from those local guys. One guy down. One smuggler out of three. So much optional missions, man. Okay. And you done, sir. What can I do with that? Huh. Okay, how do I destroy this? Oh, E. Okay, what is that? Ooh, hello. God darn it. There's one over there. All right, let's have a swim. Swim in the swim, swim in the swim. And plant that thing. And swim across. Well, let's swim over there already. already. Is that like an extra thing? Did they actually want someone? Say good night to whoever you want to. Kaboom. Okay, now we're going back. Of course, you're going back. And of course, it's a long way. It's always like that. So annoying. 
but is it my horse here? No, don't see it in my horse. Okay, well, looks like we're gonna run on our feet. What are you? Thank you. Oh boy. Ooh, ooh. Oh, almost back. In our lovely cottage. Pub. House place. I can hide. Where? Okay, you asked for it. You shall receive. Oh, you're gonna be better than me, huh? And you Danzo, my sir. You Danzo as well, my friend. quickly get back oh, okay they're gonna now be like on my ass now uh oh I should probably go this way <laughs> the road right there is the most people oh god say it's probably not the best way to run through Come on, just run, dude. Mm, can't do anything with him. Oopsie, let's go up. How are they getting around so got that quick?
Okay, don't want to go there. Or do I? What the hell, man? Am I hidden? I think I am hidden. Surprisingly, I'm hidden. There is a bell. Alright, now we hit him. And I'm gonna press anything just in case. Well, let's kill this guy, but. Okay! Well, there will be one. One thing done. How do you now convince people that I'm not notorious? Oh, I don't have the money, okay. Well, that's gonna make it difficult. Well, looks like we're gonna sneak around on the foot. I hope that nobody sees us. Why they are everywhere, all the goddamn time. Jump out of the circle. Just stupid, man. I can't kill all of them. Luckily, they're super dumb, but 
Oh, I need to like look at the posters on the walls. I can't just. Okay. Oh boy, and there's a bunch of them now. Come on, guys. I didn't really want to finish the mission, man. And they all here, like, to know what. We have more, more posters. No. Do you see posters, people? Can I see a poster? Okay, Jack, good thing down. Well, it's much better now, but I feel like I definitely need another one. Poster. No poster. Okay. Don't need it. All right. There is a poster. Oh, hello. Oops. Oh, hello. Do I see a poster? I need a poster, man. That will stop everything for me. But I can't see any. Where did the posters go? Oh, there is one. Hey, we can't need to. Oof. Perfect. Now we can go finally. We clear mind, finished mission. Maybe. Or do I need to like create mayhem? Again. Okay. You there? How about you? You done there as well. Nobody knows anything. Amazing. Let me just try and check out what is in chest here. And then we're probably gonna say bye bye. Where is the chest? Oh, hello. Well, we have found a recipe. Whoa, twelve hundred dollars now. We rich. All right. Well, on this magnificent bombshell, we're gonna try fast travel to our point of interest. 
Okay, not that there. Not there. Can we go here? Store a new item. Well, let's just jump here and I will gonna see you in the next episode. Leave a like below, leave a comment as well, tell me what you think. And if you wanna see more and don't miss it, please subscribe because this episode has been wrapped.